hi everyone and welcome back to the channel again and today we're gonna start from here and you can see the now our builder is looking fine and also the ui part of the builder is started looking better and we had some customization like we can have some styling part like have some css over here and dimensions like there are two sectors that we have added in the last previous video and you can have a selector over here like if there's a selector to this class component then you can have it over here so a lot of things we did and also you can export the uh, just get the json part json part from here and uh, you can export the code like you can have the whole um, total html code inside the canvas okay so a builder is looking fine and we're gonna start moving towards uh, further like i just told you in the previous video that i will show you about the trait manager how trait things work like uh, into the html element you will see let me show you so in the grape js these attributes like you can see the attributes like text type draggable so these are the grape js default attributes but these are that HTML attributes like class id and these attributes gonna be handled over here into the trait manager so how will you, how do we gonna handle that i'll show you okay so just keep watching okay so what we're gonna do let's move towards so let's move to the getting started and we covered it till here okay so we covered it over um, till the style manager but okay so there's a trait so you can see most of the time you would style your component and place them somewhere in the structure but sometime your component might need a custom attribute or even custom behavior for this thing you can make use of traits traits are commonly used to update html element attribute placeholder for input or for images so did you get that like placeholder or for images so these are the attribute that we call trait into the grid js so but you can also define your custom trait like you want to customize your element like you want to add a specific trait to a specific element like there's a select ele select element into the html and you want to customize that part like if you want to fire an event on the on change of that select values then you can do that as well so everything i will show you but step by step so today we're gonna include such uh, this code only into our code uh, editor okay so just copy this so right now I'm, if you are wondering that why i'm copying the code and pasting into the code and everything i just copied and pasted it over here i didn't made this from scratch by myself so let me tell you that this is this code is is quite big and it's very hard to keep uh, learn and keep remember everything so you have the documentation and you can you can read the documentation every time and you can pick that thing from there and you can just paste it into your code editor so the main purpose of the thing is that you have to you have to understand the how things are working over here if you have the understanding of thing uh, these things then you can customize this by your own okay so just copy it it doesn't matter you are copying or pasting somewhere it matters that you have the understanding of this thing okay so just copy it and paste it over here so we gonna put our trait manager at the top of the style manager like the trait manager gonna be coming over the layer container so control v okay i did something wrong control z okay so i think it's not copied properly so let me just copy and paste it over here so you can see i have pasted and what you need to do next you need to include this code from here trait manager control c and into your grape.js config you have to include it somewhere so i'm gonna be including just before this okay so trait manager trait manager gonna be included into the trait container this is the selector and you can see the selector over here like traits container okay and the next thing what we're gonna do we're gonna include this command 
so this command gonna be open the tray manager so it's gonna be opening right now it's gonna be open a default rates okay so you don't have to be worried about that but i will tell you that how we can create a custom trade as well so that will be into the separate video i'm not gonna be making some hodgepodge into this video so okay and we have included this command so i already told you earlier about the command property how it works so if you have to add some command by your own like default not default command customized command and you want to uh, add an event listener as well so what you can do you can add the event over here like this is your command okay and this is the function of adding a command like this is the script so editor.command.add and you are adding this command and after that adding the command you can perform some action like get rate element you can run that command as well as you can stop uh, stop that command so these are three functions that you default function and you can perform the action as well so you are getting the editor instance as well over here okay and when you run this command it gonna be have the it gonna having that editor instance so this is now adding a trait okay whenever you will perform any action into your trait this command gonna be fired at that time so you can see it's initializing a row row dot query selector dot trait container okay inside a row it gonna be appending it gonna be uh, read, this function gonna be returning a trait container query selector whenever you will get the trait element okay whenever you will uh, calling that function it gonna be returning this function when this function gonna be running it gonna be uh, perform some action the inside this run function this is important when you run, when you call any kind of command first you initialize so initialization is just like this and when you call any kind of command that gonna be running that function inside the run function okay whenever you will fire an event it's gonna be called into the run function okay so this is the function that gonna be called default and inside that you can perform any kind of action so right now you can say style dot display and whatever the display you want to provide you can provide over here okay and this is the stop that you have to call default but make sure that run function is a default function like uh, if you know about the class inheritance in javascript uh, uh, okay uh, uh, and uh, as well as in other language if you know about the oops programming language so that's the kind of thing is going over here okay so this is the oops concept okay so let's see if there's something that changed into our builder or not so a lot of thing has been changed okay so if i click on this you can see there are some traits are coming like id or title if i put the id over here if i put the title over here and if you if i hover over this you can see the title is coming over here so titles mean title property into your html element so when you hover over the element you can see the title is coming okay and as well as if i show you into the inspect you can see that id has been appended over here so you can see id is over here this id is matching with this id and title property title is matching with it so you can add the selector as well and customize it you can add the classes from into an ele specific element from here you can add the id from here okay so this that this kind of thing that we wanted to do and there are some more things into the documentation that we skipped okay let me check what was that okay after that uh, okay we missed this thing like show traits okay we missed it because this is a button for displaying a trait right now it is coming default when you click on the element otherwise you can what you can do you can add a simple button over here for displaying a trait like this button gonna be displaying your all the style manager this button gonna be displaying your layer manager and over here there would be a button for trait displaying a traits so it won't gonna be making a hodgepodge condition right now everything is coming default into your when you click over the element okay so don't worry about that 
this is a task if you want to learn or you want to practice that what you have to do you have to add a button over here and on click of that button what you need to do you need to display the traits right now it's coming on the clicking on the element but uh, what you need to do when you click on the element you need to press this button for displaying this id and title okay so this is the practice that you have to do by your own okay if you get any kind of issue just let me know in the comment section i will get back to you asap okay so we have already did okay so you can see it's showing that trait has been already added and there are something like if you want to add the device property that you want to see the responsive of the template so just copy this part and paste it inside the panel part okay control v so we have added panel part okay and just add this css into your css file okay this is not the css file okay this one okay just add this below over here and add this thing as well devices okay you have to copy the whole object control c and device manager okay so just uh, copy it uh, over your panels you can copy it anywhere but i would say that copy it over the panel okay and add some buttons into the panel so how will you add that buttons like this so you can see there are some objects that are already defined so you need to just add those control c okay and add those object over here let's just do this and just copy it over so let me tell you first what it is doing so you can see it's showing there's a panel device section inside the section there are two buttons one is d and one is m so you can show the icon as well if you want to show the label apart from the label you can show the icon just put the icon values over here okay and you can show show it like uh, okay if you have seen my earlier video that you can see there are some images coming over here like uh, you have to put the code of the uh, code of the icons if you know what the font or some family font or some and all the things then you will see some codes come for the icons uh, for in, uh, adding those codes into the, your class property and then those icon gonna be displaying on the screen so you can add these over here with the label okay so let's see first okay so it is showing us some kind of error let me check what is the error over here an expected token okay maybe kind of issue of this thing we need to just copy this object from here control c and we just need to paste it over here okay we don't have to include this whole object from here to here okay so just remove this and let's see what i'm getting okay so you can see our d and m d and m these buttons are coming over here but these are coming at the end of the positions and these buttons should be at the middle of the over middle of the screen okay so for doing that dot panel switcher goes in the dot panel switcher and uh, dot panel devices okay so control z id dot panel devices okay 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 the issue was not not that issue was this okay control z control x from here and what you need to do this is the whole object okay and just give the proper identification and after this just copy this and you will get your 
buttons into the middle of the screen got it so you can see right now when i'm clicking on this it is showing me the changing the screen size of the iframe okay this is your iframe inside that you are you can see your elements so elements gonna be aligned so we can see the resolution of our page like we want to see it on the mobile view and on the desktop view okay guys so if you have to add another screen size over here how will you do that so what you need to do you need to first initialize it inside a device device manager so just just first what you need to do just copy it copy this script and just paste it down below and just change the name tablet okay just change the screen size so I'm changing the screen size right now 768 okay and width media would be 810 okay okay so the width media would be 810 whenever you will change the screen size this media query that that gonna be included into your CSS file you can see it's written the value will be used into the CSS file so if you want to you include so what you need to, what we this does like if you have iPad iPad Pro or a bigger screen size than this so this CSS is gonna be included for that all as well okay so next thing what you need to do you need to add a button over here like mobile button is already added and you have to add a button for the tablet so just add a button like device mobile just change this device tablet and uh, add a command so set device tablet okay now what you need to do you need to add this command into the grape.js because this is your customization what you, customization what you are doing right now so add this command into the grape.js and run a function on it so this is your event that gonna be fired whenever you will click on this button okay so how will you do that just copy this code and paste it down below like this and just change it to tablet so this is your command but you have assigned to this button whenever you will click this button this command gonna be fire and whenever this command will fire this run function gonna be executed and just change this to tablet okay and now you can see so this is another M is coming over let me change the name of that this is the M right now make it T and you can see okay so you can see we have added the mobile view tablet view and desktop view so you can see the in the tablet view the iframe size is 768 mobile view iframe size is getting lower and desktop view it is coming full so this is the screen size that you can check the screen re resolution in the three formats if you want to add some multiple buttons so you can do it by your own so this is your also your practice if you want to do and just make this and let me know in the comment section if you have any kind of issue and that's it from this video you learn how to use the trait manager how we can add this and i will show you in the next uh, some into the some separate video that how you can add some custom traits over here like you, if you're clicking on this button there's a an, another specific trait is coming on h1 tag and you can as well use that trait into some different component as well like if you are including a section tag over here and inside the section on click of that section you can use that trait as well so custom trait is very beneficial in grape jail like you can run a script for that what uh, if you want to type a script like if, if you want to run some another functionality when this code will go on the server so you can do that and also i will so you some more feature of the grape.js into the next video so till then take care and bye bye and please subscribe the channel because some interesting video gonna be coming into the next till the next month okay thank you so much thank you for watching and thanks a lot